Welcome to Dublin, Ireland for a new edition of Innovation at Work. And in this program, we're looking at green technology. Of course, it's a vital issue for telecom suppliers because nowadays the environment is not some minor peripheral issue. More and more energy consumption, climate change, how they can be reduced, these are vital factors for purchasers when they come to commission equipment, infrastructure and consumer products. So what is Alcatel Lucent doing in the field of green technology? Well, you may remember from our first edition, this little device. It's a heat sink which can cut energy consumption in telecoms equipment by a whopping 25%. Well, it was developed here at the Bell Labs facility in Blanchardstown, County Dublin. So let's see what else is going on in the laboratory here. We're with Sam Samuel, who's director of Bell Labs for Ireland and the UK. Sam, we know that ICT accounts for about 2% of global carbon emissions. What is Alcatel-Lucent doing to bring that figure down? We have reduced uh, carbon emissions in CD, CDMA distributed base station by 40%. We've done the same in our GSM base stations by 50%. And our DSL access lines have also been reduced by 20%. Looking ahead, what would you say are the main avenues of research here in Dublin? There are three things that we're looking at. The first is thermal management of components. The second is power management of uh, equipment. And the third piece is topographical management of a network. Uh, topographical management, this is a relatively new thing. Future communication systems are being deployed around data centers. Data centers are usually where you hold information that is sent to people. These are being placed in colder climates for reasons of reducing the, the amount of money we spend on cooling them. That means we have to route this information from remote places to uh, where people need the information. That requires us to be smart about how we manage those networks and the way we manage the energy in those networks, and that's what topographical management is. Sam, thanks so much. My pleasure. Now, to get down to the real nitty-gritty of the research, we've come down to the bowels of the Bell Laboratories. But before we go any further, I want you to look in here. This is absolutely fantastic. This is what they call an anechoic chamber. It's for testing antennae. These cone-like pieces of foam absorb the radio waves and make sure there's no reflection. And actually, it's about antenna systems and how they can be made more eco-efficient. Now, we're going to talk now to Florian Pivit. Florian, hi. Hi. Your project is called Active Antenna Arrays. What, what does that mean exactly? First, I want to explain how mobile communication infrastructure works today. Today, we have about a cabinet-sized infrastructure in where all the digital and analog signal processing happens. And we need to carry that signal up to the antenna. And this transfer of the signal is today done by a coaxial cable. Half of the energy that is transported to or from the antenna is lost in these cables. So if we want to actually make our equipment way more efficient, we have to get rid of these cables by integrating the signal processing and the signal generation and the receiver directly into the antenna. So you're, put, you're putting the energy creation bit into the actual antenna? Exactly. This is, I can show you this here. This is a model for or a mock-up test setup for um, one of these active antenna elements. And as you can see, we have reduced the distance between the antenna element and the power generation from tens of meters down to a few centimeters. Florian, thanks a million. You're welcome. So there we have a classic example of the way Alcatel Lucent is powering new ideas to make technology more eco-efficient. It's highly specialized stuff, and what better way to get the brain power needed than a link up with one of the most prestigious universities in Europe. Trinity College, founded here in the heart of Dublin more than 400 years ago by Queen Elizabeth I, and ever since an admired and very beautiful centre of learning in the arts and the sciences. This is the CTVR, the Centre for Telecommunications Research, headquartered in Trinity, which works very closely with Alcatel-Lucent. You can see around me researchers, scientists from around the world, from Pakistan, from China, from Italy, and from Ireland, of course. 
Now, here is Professor Donal O'Mahony. Now, you're head of the CTVR. To what extent would you say that modern-day research in the telecommunications business is driven by the environmental agenda? Well, there's a huge public concern about global warming and CO2 emissions, and I think that combined with uh, the, the, the whole cost of energy, rising cost of energy, and the fact that telecoms equipment is running 365 days a year, that, that really adds to the cost of ownership. And those two things combined really make environmental concerns top of the telecom research agenda right now. Well, CTVR spans about seven Irish universities and third-level institutes, so we can draw on a huge range of skill sets to apply to telecoms problems. Uh, for example, one of the areas we're looking into is energy consumption in all optical networks. Now, telecoms networks use an amount of energy that's based on their peak capacity. Whereas most of the time, during the night, for example, they're using practically none of that capacity. So we're looking into optical transceivers that can throttle down their speed of operation and hence their energy consumption. So looking ahead, ecological concerns really at the heart of things? Yeah, we have a whole range of projects going on within CTVR in association with Alcatel-Lucent that's really going to put energy-saving concerns right into the heart of research in telecoms in the next 5, 10 or 15 years. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming by. That's all for this green edition of Innovation at Work, appropriately enough from the green island of Ireland. We'll be back next month for more insights into how the future is being created by you right now. <laughs> <laughs>